You traitors claiming I'm a Ruski agent, say it to my face and I'll break your nose. I'm sick of it. I will stomp your head in the ground, you traitorous maggots. While we go under Obamacare, North American Union, conquered by European banks, announcing our kids don't belong to us, total bondage, total surveillance, and you want to shoot your mouth off about me being a Ruski agent, I will stomp your head in the ground. And all you ISIS people threatening us, hey, we're not a French newspaper, okay? We got people that have taken your asses out in this building right now. We're armed to the teeth, and we're not scared. You got that, you sons of bitches? This is Texas. You want to threaten me, you can go straight to hell. You understand that? No one will go to the New York Times or care that it's even admitted that the government's hatching most of the terror plots. Or people will say, what are you doing? Endorsing radical Islam, saying it doesn't exist? I didn't say that. I said our criminal government is arming them and abetting them, protecting them to attack and kill us so they can take our freedoms. That's what I said. Never water yourself down just because someone can't handle you at 100 proof. It's the Alex Jones Show because there's a war on for your mind. CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, Glenn Beck, and everybody else that runs around claiming that I'm saying there aren't any real Muslim terrorists. That's a load of crud, and you know it. What's up, folks? Permanent Patriot here. Uh, he's watching some info wars, and Alex Jones is bringing up some stuff he very rarely brings up. And uh, <clears throat> well, two things actually: the top of the pyramid. The real fucking Illuminati. He's touching on that. And he's also touching on aliens. And alien technology. I thought it was pretty damn good. Go ahead. Take a listen. Yeah, Alex, Alex looks a little angry. All you folks out there who don't like Alex getting upset. Calm down. He's a fucking reporter. I don't give a fuck who he works for. The man is fucking honest. Everything that he fucking says, you can go and verify. That's all I need to know. I don't give a fuck who he is or who he works for. The fucking man is telling the truth. And believe me. I don't just take his fucking word for it after 15 years either. I still go and look shit up there, he says. And it's still fucking right. So, take a listen, folks. And they interdimensionally are giving certain humans dark knowledge on how to build a grid control system that's a Trojan horse and looks like it makes life easier. But once you adopt it, you give your consciousness up to it and then lose your humanity in the process and basically then decide you're a bad species and agree that you want to be assimilated and overwritten and merged with a machine and then lose your physical body. Now, that's the promise of the globalists and their public plan, from Google to Ray Kurzweil to H.G. Wells to all of them. Say that. That's why you see what I'm saying in... Arthur C. Clarke, MI6 agent, OSS before that, inventor of the telecommunications satellite, high-level Illuminati, 2001 Space Odyssey, childlike allegory, if you understand what, what's going to happen. They are bringing in the end of humanity. And they are building at the highest levels of the Mervarian Illuminati, when you study them, they believe they are channeling interdimensional beings. This is not me. True story. This is them, and that they're giving them advanced technology and information to control this third dimension. And their orders are, build this technocracy, wipe out humanity, and they're going to be gods. And you're saying, wait a minute, that's, that's childhood's end. Wait a minute, that's all these science fiction movies in this culture. We see themes of this, not the full theme, but themes of it. And it's because that's what the global elite believe. Now, Christians would say, yeah, that's the devil doing that. And that's the Antichrist peace system. 
See, there it is again in the Bible. And it's in the Vedic text with the Indians. And it's in every ancient religion and culture from the Dogon tribe in Africa right through. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on because I deal with what I can prove. But that's the big enchilada. And they're building a system that is human ending. I was watching Fox News this morning. And Megyn Kelly is morphing into an asexual creature. The ads were all dads doing the mopping and dads doing the cooking. And to be okay with some of that, that's the only message I saw during the ads. Their moms. And of course, I already knew that, but it's just, wow. I had the audio off. And I was just looking at the, at the closed captioning and it was just total conditioning. What Orwell failed to predict is that we buy the cameras ourselves and then our biggest fear would be that nobody was watching. Trying to blame it on That's us. Keith Lowell Jensen said that. That's a very good quote. And so they weren't ready for you to know 20 years ago when I told you about the microphones and your appliances. You weren't ready in their rollout to know that the street lamps are listening to you and watching you. And that computers decide when something is suspicious and tell the police. And so they claim, oh, well, I had reasonable suspicion. And you could argue of loving angels, if, if, if the archangel Gabriel or, or Michael was running these, you could say, oh, well, it's okay. So there's always an excuse, it, it's for the greater good. No, the good guys don't run this. And just look at the cancer rates, the IQs dropping, the culture falling apart, the family falling apart. This thing we're being fed into doesn't lead to a nice place. You smell what's down that dark hole? Let me tell you. They're like, hey, doesn't matter. Put your virtual reality goggles on and then march down this path. It's really pretty. That's why they want you. you in the matrix with the goggles on, looking at your smartphone and watching American Idol and the Oscars and marching to hell. They don't want you actually looking around you and using your instincts, using your gut, using your common sense. So whether it's interdimensional spirits, whether it's classical third dimensional deep space aliens, or whether it's psychotic elites throughout history that have envisioned systems of total control and humans are so powerful, they've been able to manifest it by stealing our dreams. They manipulate us to build for them. Or whether the elite have grabbed onto ancient cosmologies and are deceived and believe that they're just ripping off a narrative, but it sounds like a good control system. Folks, that is why I get so fucking angry most of the time is because I don't think people realize these people have literally stolen our fucking dreams, the, the inventions of so many regular fucking people throughout life. They fucking just robbed everything. And now they're trying to rob our souls. The last fucking thing we got. I mean, seriously, folks. Look around you. What else do you got? Do you fucking take any of it with you when you go? Let's just say it's scientific and it's out of the mind of humans. It doesn't matter. They're building alien systems. They're creating alien creatures. Human embryos growing in goats, in sheep, in pigs, in cows. For 20 years that I know about it. And when the BBC reported on it 20 years ago, I already read it in some pub uh, trade publications. They said it had been going on for 10. That's 30 years. Okay, and now say, they're telling you about it this year. Like I always say, 30 years both, later. 30 now they're telling you about microphones in the, in, the, in, in the light poles and cameras. 20 years plus. After. Yeah. Folks, I'll have you fucking know. And you can't ask anybody in any major city especially any major city. 
Ask anybody in fucking a police state, like New York. They had those fucking gunshot spotters out on the streets like fucking 20 years ago. They're, they're just sitting up on the fucking pole. You think, that, oh, it's just another red light camera. They're going, guess what? Those aren't gunshot detectors. They're listening to you. And see, in legalese, they're telling the truth. It is a gunshot detector. It does pick up shots fired. It does triangulate, but it's really, it's base use as a microphone. Just like your so-called smartphone. Yeah, well, with I, a great... I mean, duh. Duh. Folks, have you ever heard a fucking car backfire? Have you ever heard a car accident? How about fireworks? You think all the fucking things do is detect gunshots? Then it would be detecting every fucking thing else around. The little poppers the fucking kids walk around with throwing on the ground. The little sparklers that they got that jump around and explode. Fucking car backfiring. These people are telling the, the littlest fucking fallacies and getting away with it. It's unreal. DARPA develops brain chip that collects electrical signals and sends them to a computer. Ray Kurzweil, Google, downloading your brain. By 2030, we will be able to download a human mind. You think he's fucking kidding, folks? These people are sick in the fucking head. Go and look up the definition for psychopath. Each and every fucking one of the people in Washington, anyways. All the fucking leaders in Washington. They all act the same way. Uh, a couple of the people on... Um, on news agencies, Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly. Yeah, they're fucking psycho. Believe me, I, st I studied them throughout history. I know who the psychos are. And I know who the fucking, you know, the socialist contempt ones are. Like Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi was afraid of her own fucking shadow. That woman's not going to make it. She ain't going to make it. He's done. Anywho. Camera and all these amazing games and all the things it does and, and calculators. You seen this before? No, I would is it, George. You seen this before? Where, where are you seeing that shape? I just type in 2001 Space Odyssey into Google. Uh-huh. Pull up opening scene and they wake up in the morning and it's standing there, and it sends out a signal activating their DNA to evolve. I'm holding up a iPhone, a smartphone. It makes you smart, but it really makes you dumb. Oh, and as if that didn't tell you enough what was going on, what is the obelisk? Oh, it's the apple in the garden that the bite's been taken out of. It's the mark. Okay, folks. So, now again, so folks, that in itself is the fucking mark, the fucking Apple logo. I got a CIA phone. I'm not worried. Right, folks, that's it. They got, and not only that, but they have... I don't even, I forget the name of them. But they have these fucking tattoos that you can buy right at the store, like Walgreens. And you put it on your fucking skin. And it sits there like, you know, a, a tattoo. Removable tattoo. Except this doesn't remove. No, instead it slowly keeps embedding itself deeper into your skin. 
until it's in between the fourth and seventh layer, where it stays forever. And your skin starts to fucking cover up over it, and it it's diabolical shit. And folks, I don't give a fuck if you're starving to death. If your kid is starving to death, you do not take that fucking chip. You don't take anything where you can't buy something if you do not use that. Fuck you. That's what you tell them. Market a beast. Nobody knows what the fuck it's going to be. We're all wondering what it's going to be. Well, it's right fucking sitting here in front of us uh, for, you know, since about 2005. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.